My name is uh, Maria Neira, and I am the director of the Department of Public Health and Environment at the World Health Organization. Why do we need to put health as a pillar for sustainable development? There are several reasons for that. One of that is that we need to establish interlinkages between health and many of the sustainable development goals, but particularly the number three on nutrition, then we need to look at the number six on access to safe water and sanitation, which is fundamental to ensure health for everyone. Then access to clean energy, because all the ways we will be facing the problem of air pollution will represent today more than seven million premature deaths every year caused by air pollution. No doubt we need to work as well on the sustainable development goal for cities, because this is where the new uh, architecture for global health needs to be formed around it. We need to make sure that our cities are planned and decide on a very healthy way because more than 70% of our citizens will be living in urban areas in 20 years from now. We need to work with the climate change sustainable development goals because this is affecting the, the, the pillars of our health and we need to work as well with uh, sustainable production and consuming and, and chemicals production. Many are the SDGs with whom we need to establish uh, contacts and, and interlinkages for the good of our health, which uh, will take us as a kind of a new architecture for global health, making sure that we work on a very intersectorial way, making sure that all of those sectors, energy, agriculture, water, education, transport, and, and, and many others will work together for the objective common, uh, common objective, which is about health. And the second part of my intervention is that we need as well a new paradigm in terms of investments. We need to change the fact that now we are not investing enough on primary prevention, and therefore all of our health expenditure is going for treatment of the patients and health care. We need to change that percentage a little bit, and then it will be good to promote and revitalize the primary prevention concept for One Health.